Time for the next round of the tournament. IQ episode, what are you up to? 19? This guy. Oh, they get a chance to scope out the opponent. Dominant score. They can't even get past the serve. Oikawa, time to learn his name. He's good at that too. Shocking. I was pretty confident that they would destroy Date Tech just because it was a learning experience for Asahi. I'm not as confident that they're going to win this, especially because this is getting to the end of Season 1. I know I shouldn't be thinking about that. Then again, I don't really know. I mean, this tournament arc could last multi-seasons. Or they could just dominate every team in the next five episodes. So I'm on edge a little more than I have been in the previous two matches of this tournament. I also think it's going to be a deeper character look because there was some characterization for Date Tech, but, you know, they were mostly unknown to us. This guy, he's a familiar face. And sometimes I get a little bit of a clue, a little bit of a clue about characters by how people comment about them when they're introduced. I get the feeling he's a fan favorite. Episode 19, Conductors. That is extraordinarily intimidating. They're on edge, as they should be. <laughs> Whose side are you on here? <laughs> Once again, Noshinoya playing a role in setting the emotional space for the team. As low-key and MVP, if that makes sense. <laughs> How can you be quiet when there's volleyball happening? And he's so casual about it. He's so happy-go-lucky. It's infuriating. What a day. Right, that's a good point. What's so cool? It's your 15 minutes. Still. Are they going to make coverage? That would be such a morale booster. Oh no. <laughs> He's a celebrity. Oh yeah, it is. See? They're with me. He's so smug about it too. Got so many female fans. There we go. Here we are. Hope someone's recording. No! They cut to his face. Oof. You have to crush them. You have to crush them. Oh, and he's nice. Ugh. Disgusting. Oh no. <laughs> so much for the moral victory, or the morale boost. No, the damage has been done. Thank you for trying. Oh, Daichi's pissed. You can just see it. Maybe that was some morale boost. <laughs> just not in the way I thought. It's not enough to win. We gotta crush them. Crush Break their spirits. Take that smile off of his face. We learned, right, though? We, we know what we need to work on. Returns. Hinata not hitting the net on his serves. Such a good point. And for that matter, people watching Karasuno had the same thought. It's a difference of perspective. You know, you see other people doing great, and it's like, oh, they're, they're just beastly, you know, they're otherworldly. But they're all the same, they're all human beings. Their skill levels might vary, but they don't have godlike powers. They're just as vulnerable. It's just so easy to let your imagination run wild. But thankfully, it cuts both ways, because they have the same element. You know, they did really well in their first two games. They surprised a whole lot of spectators. Time to watch some tape. Well, he's very enthusiastic about that first round. I mean, if anyone deserves a first round, it's the guy putting his entire teaching career on the line. Oh, yeah, behind that smiling face, easygoing demeanor, he obviously has a beast inside. You gotta be able to picture it at least. <laughs> That's what it's all about. But how does he really feel? He's got to be a little shaken, though. 
Oh, he's got it too. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more this seems like a facade. This guy's pretty intense. Speaking of coping with anxiety. He's got the kind of room Invisible Girl would hate. Yeah, that has some depth to his character. <laughs> He's not just walking around eating girls' cookies. Cares a lot. More than he lets on. Here we go, already. Everyone is jeopardizing their entire lives <laughs> for volleyball. <laughs> Use it as fuel. Put it behind you. Use it as energy to destroy them. Crush them. Wipe the smile off of these girls' faces. And they had no time to practice, huh? That's interesting. Aside from this warm-up. I guess there just literally was no time. Just gotta believe in what you got. So does that mean this is going to become relevant? One thing we haven't dealt with yet that I'm sure we will at some point is injury. He's also just managing the whole team's psychology. Oh. Just got chills. It's just gone too well so far. It's just gone too well so far. Is that real? Do you get awards for positions? He's playing against Hiro. I don't know, the motivation is there for Karsuno. Yeah, this is a crazy opponent. This is moment. Yeah, he really is like a spiritual leader. I guess stemming largely from not just ability, but conviction. Even though you wouldn't guess it at first glance. Damn! Shock and awe. That was a painful first point. Caught him sleeping. Oh no, and he's playing mind games now. Daichi's expression is interesting. There's no way to win this. There's no way to win this line of reasoning. Exactly, don't think about it. First point, first chance. What do they lead with? Wait, it could be a fake. It could be a fake. It's a fake. He's got them so good. He ha he just got them so good. They just got so played. He's just having a great time out here. He's making making the decisions for everyone, which gives him such a huge edge. They're stuck reacting. Yes. <laughs> you know, speaking of infuriating. There you go, Daichi, being the voice of reason, having his head in the game, never intimidated. We can do it fast. Oh no, oh no, oh no, that glint. Somebody was studying tape last night. There you go, that's a much better expression. That's what I want to see. Oh, damn! Using your tools against you. You're not the only one who can spike, dump, Oikawa. Damn, just totally changing the emotional momentum. This is so good for Kageyama. Fighting a giant. A king. <laughs> just giving it right back. He woke up the beast. That was awesome. <laughs> that like, t totally caught me off guard. I was kind of sleeping on Kakayama. Now I see. Now I understand. He was quietly brooding, but there was a, a fire raging inside over facing his once idol. The Dante Tech game was really great, but this is something else. The stakes just feel so much higher. It also helps that they're more familiar. We've been following them. We know them for much longer. Kakayama really earning this this ending screen, this ending video. It's all about him. I can't quite put my finger on it, but that last move at the end there just felt so significant. It was a statement. Because like I said, they were just totally playing Oikawa's game, being stuck reacting to him. In a way, the 
fact that they gave him that much space, that much respect, means on some level they're playing like they expect defeat. And Kageyama just totally reversed that. It was only, what, three points that we just saw scored, but what a roller coaster already. This actually could be like a five episode thing.